Hello, son. Yes. Good afternoon. <laughs> Very good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Mm. We got a really nice surprise here from Becker Frost Salmon. Let's take a look, Hero. Mm. Uh, they sent this to you, FedEx, from their headquarters in New Jersey. Yeah. And if you saw from our previous video, they offer the world's best farm raised salmon, no GMO, no antibiotics, parasite free feed. So, this salmon that you get. Let me tell you what, you can enjoy it at home as well, anytime. Right now, they're shipping to the people in the United States. Go to backerfrostshop.com, and you'll see what they're selling online. Okay. Let's see what this is in here. Oh, wow, is, uh, okay. This is actually the portion. Oh, portion. the portion, nice. All right, so this is the stuff that you can buy right now. Take a look at this. Frozen already? Yeah, these two types. Okay. The color on the salmon is phenomenal. We highly, highly recommend Baccarat salmon. Truly the world's best farm raised oh, salmon. They have an individual, the one small piece. Okay. Two. This is a four piece. In, uh, I think together. these are four ounces and these are six ounces, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, this is two and two. Okay. Or oh, two pieces, one, two. Oh, this so is you have a choice. Four pieces in it, or single one, or two pieces in the pack. Right. Yes. So that's it, yep, right? That's all inside. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, we've done a lot of salmon videos, but can't wait to use this one here. Mm. This is actually two pieces. I thought one piece, but two pieces. Oh, it's two pieces together? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right about that. So check them out. Okay, Hiro, so what's the next step? We're going to uh, make some delicious from it. Yes, with we'll this one. Okay, gotta thaw it out first, so mm. stay tuned. Okay, Hiro san, yes. after all that salmon that we got, this is approximately two months later. Mm. We got this in just about middle of August. Right now, it's pretty much middle of October. And we're gonna thaw this out here. We're gonna do some sashimi with it. And also make some really nice dishes, right? Mm. Okay, so what's a proper way of defrosting this salmon? I keep in the uh, refrigerator and then uh, slowly to defrost. Okay, so that's, you know, your fridge is pretty cold. It's going to take about two days or so, right? Uh, my dad, uh, yeah, it's going to be take two days. Yeah, yeah, a lot. All right, looking forward to it, Hiro. Be back. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to you. We got a great recipe today. Mm. Well, as you saw from the previous video, this is the salmon that we had in the freezer for at least two months. And we just thawed it out. Let's go through the other ingredients. Yes. So some of the basic ingredients today, okay. yeah, and then of course I'm gonna use the sushi rice. Yes. Today is uh, we're gonna make a sushi. Uh, cream cheese here. So I'm gonna make some uh, spicy salmon. So we have a sriracha, kimchi sauce, mayonnaise, and sesame oil right here. Mm -hmm. And the uh, maybe I'm gonna use avocado. And this one go for the decoration. And mioga from my hometown Kochi. And uh, here is a, uh, this is a truffle paru something. It's called paru, truffle, truffle paru, paru yeah. like a caviar style, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, ikura here, ikura. Uh, uh, salmon egg here. This one. Yeah. Also, I'm going to use for decoration. And kaiware here. Maybe okay. I'm going to use uh, kaiware, maybe not. And then here, the sliced cabbage here. Also, for the decoration, maybe I'm going to use, maybe, I know, I know what I use. Okay, very good. Okay, open up the package. Okay, take the water out. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on the tray. Like that. Okay, first I'm gonna make a spicy salmon.
and kimchi sauce. And sesame oil. Spicy salmon here. Okay, so first I'm going to make a spicy salmon roll. And then I'm gonna add the cream cheese today. And then spicy salmon. Never had a JB tempura. That I never had a JB spicy JB roll here. Be the first one, you know. Spicy JB roll. Right. Have you had a spicy JB roll before? No. And tie up the edge. Like that. Okay, next one is uh, we call hosomaki. Seaweed coming in outside and then um, skinny roll. Yeah, hosomaki. That's what hosi, hos hosomaki means skinny? Skinny. Okay. And these rolls are much harder to roll up than the inside out roll that you just made. You know? A little bit more uh, need to technique. That's right. Of you, can sh you can show you. It's all in the how much rice you put, right? Yeah. So you cannot put too much rice inside, and then not all all cover up the seaweed. You need to uh, open up the space for on the top. Okay. So ingredients we're gonna put in in the middle in here. Like that. Okay. And roll it up. And just tuck it in, tuck it underneath. You can see that? Okay. And hold it. Well, a lot of people always comment, you make it much easier than it is. <laughs> so, it looks so simple. This one has to be between seaweed and seaweed, it has to be attaching. Okay. You know. And then when you keep it, so attaching side of in the bottom. Right. Then you can keep it here for a little bit. And then uh, seaweed will get a little bit of shrink, right? So then you can cut. Okay. You have yeah, to wait a little bit. Okay. After you roll up, if you cut in right away, sometimes it will break easily. Right, the seaweed breaks. So maybe breaks. you can eat, uh, wait just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, next one is a salmon with a avocado roll and avocado on the top. Okay, so let me check the avocado first. Well, hopefully. This is a good one. A mm, little bit of brown. But, uh, I, I try to avoid into a brown spot. Okay. So. Okay, anyway, I have one more, so let me check the other side. It's yeah, better from the top. This is better, yeah. From the top, I can tell this one better, yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, so I'm going to use this one on the top. To the rice. Of course, you can make uh, less rice if you like to. You can make less rice. Or you can make more seaweed bigger and then make a bigger roll too. Mm -hmm. Okay, avocado. Then salmon. Look at that. Then first roll it up. Tie it up the edge. Like this. Okay, so I'm gonna keep these things here for now.
Okay, so I'm going to set up a slice avocado on that o v Use a plastic. And then bamboo makisu. A little bit shape up. Nice way. Then cut into 10 pieces or 8 pieces. Today I'm going to cut into the 8. Cutting half, cutting half, and cutting one more time in the half. Cutting the half. And like that. This one cut in half. Then, of course, you can do cutting half and half and half same way. But uh, I do often in the restaurant. I'm gonna put it together and then cutting two together like that. up hmm. simple easy and simple this simple yeah And that's why I did this video, just to show you how easy to do it at home. Mm. Just make sure to buy the white, yeah, the right white, white rice, the right white rice, and you'll... <laughs> shushi. <laughs> shushi and sh 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 shishimi. Shishimi. <laughs> shishimi, shushi. Sh shishimi. <laughs> okay, well, okay. yeah, one more to go. Yeah, let, let me try the seaweed one. So, like I say, so, um, attach inside the bottom, then I keep almost more than like a five minutes, right, right now. So that's sticking together very good, tight. And uh, this roll, also, some uh, actually chefs or restaurant we do cut off the edge to make it the sharp. You know, but I'm gonna use the whole thing like that. Just cut into the half. And this roll, oh, you, many restaurants actually cut into the six piece. Uh, you can cut into the eight piece too. Yeah. Anyway, it's up to you, of course. And the cutting parts, you can do arrangement. Of course, I just cut into equal same way like that. But the first, we cut off. And this one, you can cut in the angle too. Mm. You can design. Okay. Okay. You can you can play with that. So a lot of times when people cut this, it's not equal lengths. And it's going to be mm. one taller than the other. Yeah. The best thing is put the yeah. longer one on top. Yeah, no? this one's coming a little bit taller. But mm -hmm. I, like I say, you can cut off this one to make it more standing, more making more high c o l more flat. Yeah, even with everything else. Right. So this one I'm going to keep on the side. Either I, I'm going to do like this way, or you can put this one down. Or This it's all up to you. Yeah. Okay. Here. Okay, I'm gonna take sashimi.
take off the brown spot. And that's from the skin, it's not because it's too bad. Yeah, but this is from the skin many people board, yeah. actually don't like it, this part. Yeah, yeah, because so it's brown, brown, it's part of the skin. Some some people say, oh, quality is no good or something. Like yeah. That. Anyway, so I'm going to just take it off. Yeah, just design-wise, if you if you want to make it more smaller, or you can, you can arrange it. Like that. So today, just uh, I, I'm going to just do the decoration very simple way. Yeah, we want you guys to try this at home, you know? Right. When Hero was thinking about doing an easy recipe with this beautiful, of course, a farm raised salmon that came frozen, right. this is what you can turn it into. Yeah, I just made it was making very simple. Right, very, very right. simple. Then you can you can add to the if you want a lemon. Put in the between. Here we go. Hero's done with this basic sushi 101. I don't know if it's 101. It's pretty complicated for me even to make it look beautiful like this. <laughs> but here's a beautiful job. I like what you did here. Taking regular ordinary frozen salmon from back across and turning into what I call a masterpiece. Something you can do at home. Literally, you guys can make this at home. Nothing complicated today. Nothing complicated at all, right? So we say sushi 101. Mm. Sushi. Sushi 101. Yeah. Sushi. <laughs> okay, Rosano, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much. Hope you guys like the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Comment below, share it. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Yeah, see you next time. Okay, Hirosan, to the tasting part. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's give it a try. Okay. First, I'm going to go Hosomaki. Okay. I'm gonna follow you as well. Mm. Guys, comment I use too much soy sauce. Okay. Mm, that's good. <laughs> like soy sauce. How's it? Very good, very good. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna push it just on the side. Mm. Spicy salmon with the cream cheese. Spicy JB roll. Mm. With the girl. Well, this one is actually very good. 
A lot of flavor from the salmon. Mm. Try this one. Mmm. Is it not too spicy? Mmm. I love your spicy salmon recipe. It's delicious. Mm. Cream cheese just makes it really creamier. I love that taste. How's mm. this one? It's just basically salmon avocado roll. Whenever I go to sushi bars, I just like something basic like this. Now, you know, without the avocado on top, just an avocado with mm. salmon roll. It's good enough for me. This avocado is very ripe, uh, kind of sweet. Mm. So bring up to the uh, more like a creamy taste. Mm -hmm. The next one is the mm. sashimi. Mm, that is also very good. I'm gonna use a little bit, a lot of mioga on the top. This. Mm. I'll try this one here. Hard to believe this is frozen for so long. It came to us frozen and we had it for another two more months in the freezer. And look, you can make mm. these delicious things out of it. Mm. Now I'm gonna go mm. with the wasabi. More, I'm gonna put more wasabi. It's a crazy amount of wasabi I know that. <laughs> wow, that, <laughs> that is I like. Mm. Mm. Good, right? Very good. This is probably my favorite just because I like your spicy salmon recipe. Or it's also with tuna. You guys got to try this at home. Very good. Mm. Mm, the best part, you guys can also make this at home so easily. I have another one here. What's your favorite so far? I like either. You like the more traditional? I like the very simple one. Yeah, I like the um, salmon avocado with avocado on top, mm. but also the spicy JB roll. Mm. You guys, please try this at home. Discount code is in the description box. Kirosan, thank you so mm. much. Thank you very much. See you soon.